Trump concedes pandemic to get worse before it gets better. President Donald Trump has warned the U.S. pandemic may get worse before it gets better, as he revived his virus briefings with a more scripted tone. Mr. Trump also asked all Americans to wear face coverings, saying they'll have an effect and show patriotism. The president, who is not wearing a mask at the briefing, has previously disparaged them as unsanitary. His aides have reportedly pressed him to adopt a more measured approach as virus caseload spike across the U.S. The daily White House news conferences ended soon after Mr. Trump suggested in April during freewheeling remarks from the podium that the virus might be treated by injecting disinfectant into people. In his first White House coronavirus briefing for months on Tuesday, a less off-the-cuff president echoed what public health officials on his pandemic task force have been saying as he warned, it will probably unfortunately get worse before it gets better. Something I don't like saying about things, but that's the way it is. He added, we're asking everybody that when you are not able to socially distance, wear a mask, get a mask. Whether you like the mask or not. They have an impact, they'll have an effect and we need everything we can get. Mr. Trump, who more than once referred to COVID-19 as the China virus, took a mask from his pocket in the briefing room, but did not put it on. The president is facing an uphill climb to re-election in November against Democratic challenger, Joe Biden, according to opinion polls. Mr. Biden on Tuesday accused Mr. Trump of having failed Americans in his handling of the pandemic. He's quit on you, he's quit on this country," the former U.S. vice president said. Russia report, UK considers tougher security laws after criticism. Ministers are considering strengthening security laws after a report by MP said the government had badly underestimated the threat of Russian interference to the UK. Downing Street sources said a new law requiring foreign agents to register in the UK was being looked at by number 10. But the BBC's Chris Mason added there were currently no firm proposals. It comes as Labour criticised systemic failings in how the UK has dealt with Russia and other hostile states. As the government prepares to face questions in the Commons later, Shadow Home Secretary Nick Thomas Simon said Russia's growing threat could not be ignored. He added the government had failed to offer the UK security services the strategic support the legislative tools or the resources necessary to defend the country's interests. Foreign Secretary Dominic Robb said on Tuesday, we've been clear that Russia must desist from its attacks on the UK and our allies. We will be resolute in defending our country, our democracy and our values from such hostile state activity.